hello guys uh, welcome back once again to my youtube channel you know in my local dialect Igbo, they will say something that uh, what it simply means is that you know those that have used their mouth to criticize you or to say evil things against you will one day turn around to say positive things against you when they realize that they've been making uh, the wrong utterance against you or probably they've been telling lies against you or probably they've had a wrong perception against you and this is exactly the case of reno omokri in order of Omokri, before the 2020 presidential election had been praising of uh, P2B, during the time P2B contested uh, for the seat of the presidency alongside Atiku Abaka, when he was a running mate of Atiku Abaka in 2019, even before the 2019, P2B, uh, uh, Reno Omokri, uh, Omokri has been praising P2B. I'm just speaking about Reno Omokri, not because he's an important person to uh, P2B's uh, presidential ambition, probably he's an even important person in the political uh, history of demography of this nation. But it is a particular uh, 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 statement that he made currently that is making me, you know, to make this video for people to understand that some people who hate you sometimes might hate you for nothing just because of what just because you did not suit their agenda or their narrative like i was saying uh, this uh, man be, you know mokri you see his picture with p2b has been pouring a lot of you know praises upon p2b because uh, before p2b decided to contest against uh, atiku abubaka immediately p2b stated his intentions to contest against atiku abubaka um mokri changed his uh, in mouth and started, you know, campaigning against P2B. He was not just campaigning against P2B, he was saying all sorts of derogatory things, lies, and spreading a lot of rumors against Mr. P2B just because of what? Politics. Just because of what? Politics. There was, or there is no level of lies, even at, before he made this particular statement that he, he has not told ever about Mr. P2B. I can boldly tell you this for free. I can boldly tell you this for free. And now today he has made a U-turn after saying all sorts of things against P2B, after speaking all sorts of lies against P2B. But there's one thing I love about P2B. The more you criticize him, the more he proves you wrong. The more you criticize P2B, the more he proves you wrong that, that in fact you are you are you are even on the you, you use your hand to advise yourself. You even I have to ask yourself, am I even doing this thing? What, what I'm doing? Is it the right thing? Ever since Reno Mokri has been criticizing P2B, you know, P2B has not even listened to him or responded to him. That is why, at the end of the day, he has realized that what he's doing does not even make sense. As of today, you know, remember, P2B is north. He's turning around north, saying thank you, uh, on a thank you for, uh, in the north, you know, to thank and appreciate people that voted for him during the 2027, uh, during the 2023 presidential election. And he has been doing a lot of things, you know, he has been donating bowls, drilling bowls for people. He went to Nasrawa State the other day, he went to Niger, Suleja, where he, he, he broke the fast with them. Even while he was in Nasrawa State, he only broke the fast with them and all that, you know, and donated a lot of things. And this has made, uh, generated a lot of mixed reactions from the internet, especially APC people. APC people, we are busy saying that people, you know, went to do this, that he is going for eye service and all that. But you know, Mokri, who has always been a strong critic of P2B, yeah, who has always unnecessarily criticized P2B, instead of he, he holding the government accountable, his major focus has been on P2B, you know, changed his mouth today. And he said that, that P2B's actions and, 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 and activities in the North should be applauded, other than being criticized the way APC and the so called presidents led by Balame Tinibu's government and their cohort are doing. Look at what P2B is saying. He said, I am not sure it is right to taunt P2B over breaking fast with the Muslim Omar in a mosque, specifically with a young boy. I have spent my life as an advocate of peaceful religious coexistence. And at the beginning of this year's Ramadan, I, specially, I specifically asked Christians to fast and pray with Muslims. P2B's actions should be celebrated. He did, did he do it for political purposes as some are claiming probably but if politics can bring about peaceful religious coexistence i am all for it those who are mocking him especially the individuals who are of the islamic faith should see the benefit of this and embrace it and beyond embracing it let us promote it now you can imagine what uh you know, is saying when uh apc bigots and the ones he has been supporting has been attacking p2b that p2b is doing i service that he's campaigning for 2027 presidential election that is why he's doing all these things but there's one thing most of them don't know about p2b that p2b naturally is a very humble and a very uh, good person. He did his this travel lies. Remember when he was the governor of uh, Anambra State? Every Ramadan, he normally goes to the Muslim festival in Anambra State to break the fast and celebrate with them. Uh, uh, apart from that, he has he been doing a lot of things for the Muslim communities in Anambra State. For one day, he did not do anything against the Muslims. All this propaganda that you have you've been hearing that people be chased away Northerners in Anambra State and brought down the mosque, all are typical lies. None of them can provide a, a, a verifiable fact that people did those things while he was the governor of Anambra State. But you could see people be breaking fast with an with Muslim communities while he was the governor of Anambra State. So then the Mokri is saying that the APC big grants, Miss Grants and the APC uh, big gods that have been deceived by 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 by, by Tinibu's ambition or presidential ambition, that they should stop criticizing what P2B is doing in the north.
that what PWD is doing in the north is the right thing to do, at least to foster religious co uh, cooperation and, co uh, and, co and coexistence within Nigeria. Because one of the major issues we have in the country is religious intolerance and the religious tension that APC brought. Remember during the 2020 presidential election, no party in the country brought religious intolerance more than the APC, who went to the north and chose a Muslim Muslim ticket. Something that has never happened in the political history of, of this particular nation. APC destroyed Nigeria by bringing in the Muslim Muslim ticket. Now, some Northerners are complaining. Remember, in some of my previous videos I made, the, the, some of the people that you know people visited are, comment, are, are lamenting and shouting that they were deceived that by Tinubu's Muslim Muslim ticket, that they never believed that uh, 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 this government will actually come to this level, that they are suffering, they cannot even feed. All the Islamic cleric in the north that can pay for Muslim Muslim tickets say they regret ever voting for Balami Tinibu, that they were deceived. All the Sharia, all of them, all the Islamic groups have been saying that they regret ever voting for Muslim Muslim tickets, that they were deceived. You could hear what this one is saying, that they were deceived. The Muslim Muslim ticket practically deceived them. I can boldly tell you this for free. I can boldly and categorically tell you for this for free. So, for the first time in a long time, Rolo Mokri had to praise Mr. Pitobi. And you know, acknowledge what he did because you know, he has been playing with the, the politics of I call it the politics of bitterness. The politics of bitterness, that is what I call it. There is no tangible thing that you know, Mokri have actually said against Mr. Pito B. Either he is actually, you know, uh, 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 um, bringing up unnecessary statistics or unnecessary stories about Mr. Pito B just to discredit him. But today, like I said, that the same persons, uh, the same set of people that use their mind to, to say evil things against you will one day turn around to speak good, uh, 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 to, to speak good in, in favor of you. The one thing about you, the only thing you have to do as a person, as a matter of fact, is to maintain uh, 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 your consistency in you know, being good. Do your right things and continue being good. And this is what people have used to deceive and, and, and defeat most of them. P2B is, an, is a naturally good person, a humble person, and a caring person that has compassion. So he's using his compassion to tell people that he's a very nice uh, leader and a compassionate leader. He doesn't need to force it. It is something that is in him. It is something that is in him. Look at after the 2020 presidential election, P2B has been the only candidate moving from north to south, south to west, donating to hospitals, donating to schools, doing a lot of things, dreaming boroughs. Where is Atuk Abubakar? Where is Kwankwasi? Where is Sowere? All of them have run away from the political system in the country. P2B is the only person holding the government accountable and doing Things to help the masses at, at least to, to help them within this economic hardship that the Bolami and APC government have actually pushed this nation into. So, the Mokri had no other option to them other than to praise Mr. Pito B. It's as simple as ABCD. And with time, you, you, you continue praising Mr. Pito B because you know that at the end of the day, all these lies that he, he has been telling against Pito B does not even add up. And people will actually discover, and people are, all, all, people are not even listening to him. That is why in the North, they're not accepting Pito B. They're not saying we are going to vote for him in 2027 because they're the right person that has compassion to lead us. So uh, Mr. Ronald Mokri should know that all these is lies and, and fallacies against Pito B will not work. So he, he should continue maintaining this line of, of praising Pito B. We don't even need his praises. That is just the bitter truth. Well, I'd like you guys to drop a comment in the comment section and quite tell me what you think about this recent development and activities of Areno Omokri.